up fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and today we're on Nickajack Lake here in Tennessee and today what we have for you are the don'ts of visiting the state of Tennessee and, and my first don't for you is if you're going to be coming to Tennessee, especially in the fall and it gets gorgeous with all the leaves changing, it is phenomenally gorgeous but I got to tell you in the fall, don't confuse the locals with construction workers, especially on Saturdays, because that is when the volunteers are playing. The Vols, the University of Tennessee football team, they love them here. Like, they are psychotic fans. I know here, you know, in the SEC, everyone loves their local state team, but Tennessee takes it kind of to the next level when it comes to the Vols, okay? So if you hear a few rousing renditions of Rocky Top, just know it's okay. It's not the construction workers, that's just the locals singing and, and dancing and, and enjoying themselves in all the orange glory that they are. Now, my second don't for you has to deal with Jack Daniels. And for those of you who don't know, Lynchburg, Tennessee is where Jack Daniels, the whiskey, you know, is actually made. The distillery is here in Tennessee. But my don't for you when it comes to Jack Daniels and other alcoholic beverages is don't expect you'll be able to enjoy, or I should say, don't expect you'll be able to buy alcohol all over the state because there's a number of counties that are dry counties in Tennessee where you can't buy alcohol. Now, you can have alcohol, so maybe you want to bring it with you, but you can't buy it. So if you're going to be planning your vacation, check beforehand to see what you need to do and what you should bring just in case. And going along with that Jack Daniels don't, another don't I have for you is don't think it's just Jack Daniels. There are a number of smaller distilleries throughout the state so you can enjoy a tipple of whiskey from many different distilleries throughout the state, okay? Now my next don't for you is don't think that Tennessee is the same throughout the state. Now, if you're going to be out on the east side where the Great Smoky Mountains are, you know, Appalachian area, you can go there with Pigeon Forge and, and Knoxville and, and go to Gatlinburg and go out Dollywood and, and hike in the Great Smoky Mountains and do the natural waterfalls and the caving and all this kind of stuff. It's gorgeous, but that's the east side. You have that, but then in the center, you can have the plains where Nashville are, where it's pretty, pretty flat. And then you go to the west by the Mississippi River and, and, and Memphis. It's very much three very distinct regions of the state. So remember those three stars on the flag, three different regions, and you can have a different vacation in each one of those. And I say you can have a good vacation in each of those different regions because my next don't for you is don't think it'll be quick going from one side of Tennessee to the other. If you're going to go from Memphis, which is on the Mississippi River on the very, very west, and you're going to go all the way over to Pitch and Forge and go have some good times there and go in the Smoky Mountains, you're looking at a seven hour drive. I mean, going from east to west or west to east when it comes to Tennessee, I mean, it takes, took us longer to drive through the state than it was to go across Nebraska, all right? Now, if you go north-south, it's not too bad, but just don't, don't think it's gonna be a quick drive across Tennessee. So another thing I'll say about driving, if you're gonna be driving the Great Smoky Mountains in the eastern part of the state, you do have some windy roads when you wanna go and see some of the, the caves, you wanna go see the natural waterfalls, the natural water slides, this kind of stuff. I will say is don't just take pictures while you're driving. They have a lot of pull-offs. So to go to the pull-off, take the pictures, take the videos, go do a hike. You can do that when you're there. So don't feel you have to be driving and worried about the driving and taking pictures. No, no, there's plenty of spots for you to get off the road and enjoy the nature when you're here. Because honestly, Tennessee is gorgeous. And the thing is, it's not just outdoor beautiful lakes like this. You have caves. I and mean, there's over 9,000 caves that you can go and explore. You want to go to Ruby Falls, Chattanooga, just right down the way. You go to Ruby Falls, which is a waterfall inside a cave. Yeah, it is gorgeous when you are here. So get out. Don't forget to bring some good hiking shoes so you can go out and enjoy the nature in the state, especially on the eastern side, because you really, you're really going to miss a lot if you don't do that. Now, another thing I think you should know is when you come to Tennessee, don't forget there's actually two time zones in Tennessee. So if you're at Knoxville or Chattanooga on the eastern side of the state, that's eastern time zone. But if you're going to be in Nashville or Memphis, that's central time zone. So maybe that's why the people drive so crazy, because I think the next don't I have for you is don't freak out about the driving when you are in Tennessee, because the locals, they're like NASCAR drivers. They just go, 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 go. And they go so fast. And wherever they go in the U.S., they're driving super fast, except when they park in the left lane and go like 65 in the left-hand lane. Because for some reason, people in Tennessee love left lane driving. So just pack your patience when you're driving through Tennessee because there are a lot of spots. We have a lot of traffic in the hills and stuff. So it can be a bit much, but just know, don't get too upset with the local drivers. And, and I think that leads into something I really need to tell you about when we look at Nashville. And that is don't rip all of your hair out 
when you hit Nashville and their horrible traffic. Look, Nashville has grown by leaps and bounds the last 10, 15, 20 years. I mean, it's incredible the growth it's had, but the infrastructure hasn't really kept up with it. So when you're taking 24, I-24, and you're coming down, you know, going through, do expect to have some backups. And if you're going through downtown, you're like, oh, this isn't too bad. Just, just wait, just wait. Eventually when you get to the you know, past the downtown area, things go back into like a four lane highway and you're like, whoa, 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 shouldn't this be six or eight lanes still? No, and so the traffic will really get you. And, and downtown Nashville, where they have one lane roads can be a bit frustrating. So if you're gonna be staying in Nashville, ask your hotel, what's the best way for you to drive in to get to the parking? Now, when you're talking about Nashville, there's a couple other things I really need to make sure you know is one, don't mess around with Nashville hot chicken. Now look, what I like to tell people is, Nashville hot chicken isn't just kind of like chicken thrown with some Tabasco sauce on it. No, it's not, it's not buffalo wings. Okay, what it is, it's, it's fried chicken, and then they have the, the mix and, and the cayenne pepper that's in there and everything. It's, I mean, it's really hot. Like, it is like, ho, 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 and it, will, it, it has some kick, okay? So don't think it's going to be some easy, oh, a Popeye spicy chicken sandwich. I like that. It's going to be easy. Oh, no, no. Nashville hot is uh, next level up. And if you go to Hattie B's or any place that has Nashville hot chicken, get it, it is phenomenal. And another thing I wanna talk about when it comes to Nashville, cause I'll have more videos on Nashville, you can check those out, but I really think you should know is don't think Nashville is just country music. Now I know, you know, you know the Grand Ole Opry was there and, and, and the Country Music Hall of Fame is there and we think this is all country stuff and you go down Broadway with all the musicians playing, you think, oh, I've seen, you hear a lot of country music here. It must be a big country place. Well, yes, Nashville's big for country music, but it's not just country music, okay? Nashville's kind of become a hub for a lot of people from around the US moving to the Mid-South. And it's really more of a hipster haven than it is a, a country music kind of core anymore, okay? So it's definitely a different vibe than you're expecting when you come to Nashville, all right? Now, since I'm talking about the cities, I got a couple of things I wanna talk about with Memphis, and we have Don'ts and Shocks and Memphis videos too, you can check out. But if you're gonna be in Memphis, you're gonna be on Beale Street, and you'll see the guys and the kids doing the backflips and the jumps and stuff like that. If you're taking their video, if you're taking their picture, don't forget to tip them, okay? That's how they're making their living. That's how they're making money. So don't forget to tip them when they do that. Now, another don't I have for you when you're going to Memphis, cause you know, that's where Graceland is, where Elvis lived, right? And, and don't die of sticker shock when you go to Graceland because wow, the whole Graceland experience can be incredibly expensive for your wallet, especially if you're taking a family there. But if you are an Elvis fan, it is well worth it, okay? Because it is a whole complex. Because you have Graceland itself, but then there's across the street from Graceland, I mean, you, you can tour the, 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 the house, right? But then across the way, they have like all of his cars and all this other memorabilia from him. It is really cool, but my goodness, the sticker shock when you're there, it's bad. Now, another don't I think I should relate to Memphis is, don't think that Tennessee barbecue is just dry rub ribs. Now, don't get me wrong, Memphis and dry rub ribs from the Rendezvous, fantastic but you can have a lot more than just dry rub ribs when you're in tennessee or in memphis the web barbecue i like central barbecue in memphis when i'm there but anywhere you go throughout the state you have that memphis sweet sauce oh yeah you can have that but you can have wonderful barbecue throughout the state so don't think it's just dry rub ribs there's a lot more to it but i think the biggest don't i have for you when you're going to memphis is don't skip out on the national civil rights museum Honestly, one of the most moving museums in the US. When you go there, you learn about the history of the civil rights movement. It's actually in the old hotel where Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. I mean, I still, look, I still get goosebumps just thinking about going there. Go, you will learn so much and it will change you, okay? So if you're in Memphis, you have to go there. I know people think, Beale Street, we're gonna party. Yeah, party, but first, go to the National Civil Rights Museum in Memphis. It is unbelievable. Now, another popular area where people go is by Pitch and Forge, Gatlinburg, you know, the Smoky Mountains where there's Dollywood and all this kind of stuff. And it is really a fun place to be. And the thing is, a lot of people don't know about Pitch and Forge or they don't really think much about it. What you have to realize is that is a super popular place for people from Tennessee and this part of the US to go on vacation. So if you're looking to go to Pitch and Forge and Gatlinburg in that area, don't forget to book your accommodation ahead of time. I mean, if you're looking in the high summer months, you know, book that in the spring or the winter just to make sure you get some good spots if you wanna get a rental, if you wanna get a hotel or a resort kind of stuff because they do book out, okay? And when you are there, 
Don't you dare diss Dolly, okay? Dolly Parton is a national treasure. She's from here in Tennessee. And honestly, she won't say anything bad about you because she's too awesome for that. But don't think the locals won't give you a little backhand if you say something bad about Dolly, all right? Because she is amazing. All the stuff she does in the community, around the state, it's just, it's just, she's a fantastic woman. So go to Dollywood, listen to her music, and just like all of her like stuff she talks about, she's so great. And she's honestly, I guess, I guess, yes, there's Jack Daniels and Dolly Parton, the two greatest things that have come out of Tennessee. Now, another thing I want to talk about, because now that I'm looking around, I remembered those natural waterfalls and the natural water slides. When you're going hiking, if you're going to be by rivers or streams, don't try to do the natural water slides right after it rains, because there'll be a rush of water, so it can be a little dangerous. We were here a few years ago, and Jocelyn and Caleb were going up, and Jocelyn walked out to go down. And then the water rushed through and actually swept her down. There was lifeguards, okay, so they helped her out, but swept her down. Luckily, somebody had grabbed Caleb. I mean, it can get a little dangerous, so do pay attention when you are going to be doing some of the outdoor stuff. And the thing is, is um, don't think you're always going to get cell service when you're in the Smoky Mountains. I mean, it's gorgeous when you're driving through, but remember, hills and valleys and stuff, cell signal doesn't always go through. So if you're hiking, let people know where you're going to go. Now, another don't I have for you is don't pass up the festivals and live music here in Tennessee. Look, I've been coming to Memphis in May for decades, okay? The best man at my wedding, he actually lives in Memphis. We've been coming down here for years. In the whole month of May, Memphis has barbecue fest and it's got music and bands playing, but there's all kinds of great things throughout the state. You know, you got Bonnaroo, which is a big, huge music festival, and, you know, art and music festival, but it's more like party rave party party time festival but there's a lot of festivals and and fairs and things that go on in tennessee especially during the summer so if you can get go but if you can't get to a festival go listen to live music whether it is on broadway when you're in nashville or beale street when you're in memphis or other places around which will have live music tennessee is actually one of those states that really is good for music lovers just because there's a lot of history of it here and it's it's actually played lots of places and then i want to finish off with this one don't overlook the hospitality and friendliness of the locals here in Tennessee. Look, you're going to get fed when you're here and you're going to get fed a lot and fed some more when you're here. Don't say no. Be like, yes, I understand that belts have more holes that I can go the other direction in because the food is so good here and there's so much of it. But the hospitality and the kindness of the people here in Tennessee make it a wonderful place to be. That's why you're seeing tons and tons of people actually moving to Tennessee. I mean, no state income tax probably helps as well. But honestly, you really want to think about it and be like, wow, these people are really, really nice. And, and don't take that nicety and that accent as people aren't intelligent here. Don't discount them just because someone might have an accent or they're, they're overly friendly to you because they're just good people when you are here so that bless your heart you know a lot of times actually means it in the good way when you are here all right and so i hope this helps you know a bit more about some of the don'ts you should know before you do come here to tennessee oh um, if it is winter and there's any hint of snow don't go out don't drive don't do anything stores will be, stores will be bought out just stay home because it's not that they don't know how to drive in snow, it's just that there's not infrastructure for snow removal here in Tennessee, or at least in most parts of the state. So just a heads up for that. I mean, not really an issue right now when I'm here, but something to think about. So I hope this helps you enjoy more of Tennessee. You wanna learn more? We've got videos on Nashville, we got videos on Memphis and other surrounding states as well. So have a great time and I'll say bye from here in Tennessee.